If you don't have pressure, it means uh, muerto. <laughs> Does that make sense? Yeah. Do you now understand blood pressure? Perfect. I mean, I'm telling you, it's easy business. We can spend a semester talking about it, but in reality, there is no need. That's it. Now, one other thing that we should know as medical assistants, there should be a healthy difference between the two number, between the top number and the bottom number. The difference between the top and the bottom is called pulse pressure. Pulse pressure, these are two separate words. Pressure, when the heart squeezes and generates a pulse, that's that extra oomph. So you cannot have the top number and the bottom number close by. Otherwise, it's constantly busy, constant pressure. That's when something is going to blow. See, when the systolic number goes up, when you get pissed off, systolic number goes up. But it comes down. As soon as you relax, systolic goes down. It's the diastolic number, the bottom number. When that number begins to creep up towards your systolic, that means something is wrong. You got issues. You can't have that relaxed time reaching up to the busy time. That's that number you got to worry about. Okay? Both numbers, you know, suck. If, if, the, if the systolic is high all the time and then you're out there drinking 10 cups of coffee a day, yeah, you're going to screw yourself. But it's that bottom number that blood vessels need to relax. When they, you know, in the time when it's not busy in Dunkin' Donuts, you wash the counters, you move slowly, you have your own bagel, you have to steam yourself a nice cup of milk because you don't want to drink coffee anymore. Otherwise, you <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> so, that's the thing. Does this make sense? What's the pulse pressure? Pulse pressure is the difference the between, between systolic, systolic and, diastolic. and diastolic. Okay, does this make sense? Perfect. Lecture's over. Playtime.